indeed a great honor for all of us to be here at this surgery in the 21st century, surgeon control robotics by Dr. Manimanan. If I were permitted to, I would probably change this into surgery of the 22nd century brought to the 21st century by Manimanan and Co. I think that's the kind of uh, work that Dr. Manimanan has done in this field. And we are indeed very fortunate to have him with us today. A very, very warm welcome to Dr. Mani Menon. And there are two people in this dais who are responsible for popularizing robotic surgery in the US. Dr. Mani Menon's hands and I would say Mr. Vettikurti's brains and purse. So, these two stalwarts who have helped robotics and surgery in the US are now responsible for popularizing uh, robotic surgery and bringing robotic surgery to India. And this has been ably supported by one of the doyens in urology from our country, Professor Mahendra Bhandari, who was the former Vice Chancellor of FGPJ Lucknow and now is the Medical Director of Equity Foundation. I would extend my most warm welcome to Dr. Mani Menon, who all of you probably are aware if you are in the field of urology. After his initial training at Chipmer, he moved on to the greener pastures of the US and was trained at uh, John Hopkins and then subsequently was in the head of transplant surgery at the Mecca of Medicine, Mass General and the currently is the director of uh, the Vettikuti Institute of Urology and certainly has contributed immensely to this field. And uh, he has many, many awards. He has uh, been named the best doctor in the US. He is the international who's who. He has received the B.C. Roy Award and has over a thousand publications in international journals, textbooks, so on and so forth. And it would be very apt indeed, as my close friend and colleague Dr. Somarna said, the God of Robotics is in Manipal today and we welcome you sir and we hope that uh, the audience here will be delighted to hear all about what you have to say. A very warm welcome to Raj Venkuti even though he is the host of this function. He is an entrepreneur, philanthropist who did this initial training at Hindi and then moved on to the US and has done tremendous amount of philanthropic work and has contributed immensely to robotics in the U.S. He and his wife Padma has set up the Ventiquity Foundation in 1997. Not only have they helped in uh, robotic development and robotic surgery uh, for cancer, especially in the U.S., they have done a humongous amount of uh, philanthropic work in India too. I'm sure you'll hear more about his uh, foundation from him, sir, from him in the next few minutes. Dr. Mahendra Bhandari needs no introduction for the urologist in here, former Vice Chancellor of uh, SGPGI Lucknow and currently the Medical Director of uh, the Vetikuti Foundation in the U US and he has really, really been instrumental in setting up all the robotic institutes in India and but for him I don't think we would have had a robotic center here and we at Manipal would be very, very, very proud that uh, we have gotten together with the Ventiquity Foundation and have started the Manipal Ventiquity Institute of Robotic Surgery. And uh, Dr. Mani Menon is here not only to address the gathering today, but also has been uh, involved in surgery. And tomorrow he will be sort of demonstrating life, the surgery to his surgical capabilities to the Urological Society of Bangalore. There are many youngsters who have come with him. We will extend a very warm welcome to Dr. Badani, Dr. Akshaya Bandari, Dr. Yong, and the nurse, clinical practitioner, Ms. Stacy, and of course, our injured soldier, CEO of Equity Foundation India, Mr. Supramanyam, who has been very, very active in spite of his injury to the leg in organizing many of these issues. We very warmly welcome the CEO of Manipal, Rajan Madhukon, who, being a gentleman to the core, has taken a back seat rather than being in the front row. 
and we also would warmly welcome all the faculty of the Manipal Medical Institute of Robotic Surgery from Manipal who are here with us today and my warmest welcome to all the distinguished doctors, surgeons who have come all the way in spite of the terrible back of traffic uh, to listen to Dr. Mani Menon and of course most importantly I would like to welcome all the other public who have come here to listen to Dr. Menon today and I am sure you will not be disappointed and members of the press who have uh, been very supportive of our uh, robotic surgery initiative we extend a very warm welcome to them Manipal Ventricular Institute of Robotic Surgery, which was uh, sort of inaugurated in July of uh, this year, has already done close to 50 surgeries and certainly we do hope to do a lot more and we solicit your support in making this a very, very successful program because we do, do believe that there has to be a change and the change has come now in the form of robotic surgery. When I was growing up, it was very common to see grandmothers and parents getting admitted in the hospital for three weeks for a cholecystectomy, whereas now we do laparoscopic cholecystectomy and they are home within 48 hours. And I hope by the time many of the youngsters graduate, laparoscopy will be a thing of the past. The only thing they will see is robotic surgery. And I'm sure it is people like Mani Menon who will drive this. Once again, a very warm welcome to all of you and thank you very much for coming. Thank you, God bless. Mr. Raj Bhattikuti, my friend Dr. Menon, ladies and gentlemen, at the very outset, I, on my own behalf and behalf of the Foundation, welcome you to this evening. Usually, the priority for lectures and technical lectures is low. Despite your busy schedules, you really saw the mission of the foundation and are here. We are extremely happy. Uh, a lot could be say, said technically by Dr. Menon and the film which we have deliberately produced for these functions would explain to you about the foundation, but there are few salient features I would like to say. Charity and corporate social responsibility or obligation has become a fashionable phrase. But the question is the altruism in that charity. And most of the charities are either percentile or they are seasonal, dependent on the growth and the accrual from the parent business. But if the foundation has attempted to a different or try to redefine the charity, ours is a sustainable model like to follow each rupee to its benefit. And we would like the growth is a very significant parameter of our program. And that is why our mission is to see how can we make this high-end technology, which is state-of-art technology, which has a heavy capital investment, heavy valuable cost, how could the time frame, common time frame of technology condensed to bring it to the common man. This cannot happen overnight. Foundation has applied its management skills and it's a multi-pronged approach to make robotic surgery cost effective and reality. Foundation had a very exciting year. We started with our first institute, Medanta Vatikuti Institute, launched on uh, November, on November 21st, 2010 and has rewritten or reviewed the impression of robotic surgery in this country to give you a glimpse. Before that, from 2000 to 2010, seven robots were functioning in this country with a dismal performance. None of them was a business model. Each robot would produce 26 surgeries per year. It would suffice to say the foundation had a very successful year with our first center completing an anniversary on 21st and completed 270 surgeries. It's a multi-specialty model. It brings in the high level of efficiency in trying to utilize the capital investment. It has a multitude of programs to bring down the valuable cost and have a, a kind of a, a, we are trying to subsidize the treatment 
of these patients. But let me tell you, we have not left our sustainable motive. Sustenance would only come if we subsidize from the accrual we have from the social entrepreneurship based business. Quote, uh, you are one of the three best medical men I have ever met. met. This is a unquote, uh, not said by me, it was said about Dr. Menon by one of the most eminent urologists of the world, Patrick Walsh, who is the father of incredible prostatectomy. It is my privilege to know Dr. Menon close to four decades, and it was a great coincidence that I used to be heading department at Zipman Pondicherry, which is his alma mater. Dr. Menon has several accolades, and the most important for Indians to know, he is perhaps the first and the only Indian who had the privilege of doing his residency at the Johns Hopkins uh, Medical Institution, which is the premier institution. Dr. Menon is a voracious reader, prolific writer, and what you would see for yourself in judge, how he has attempted to change the quality of human life. It's a formidable combination to say, ideal use of wealth. Uh, two visionaries have made it happen. Uh, we are very excited with our six institutes uh, in existence for uh, all the cities. We have covered all presidency towns and in the next phase of the program, foundation is non-stop. We are looking at the models in the B-class and C-class cities of India and look forward to your generous support and encouragement to the foundation. Let me thank Dr. Balal that I am looking in Manipal Vatikuti Institute, an ideal model which we, I would like to replicate. And we are two friends even before we came into this program. And I would like to leverage the slackness of other institutes using your example in your work. Thank you very much for your patience. And I would, any number of times I listen to this talk, uh, I think it's always a pleasure because money is one who would never repeat the same thing again and again. And this test, you can see that we would be putting all these talks which are on the same subject on our website and you will find all of them very different. So, with this, uh, I would uh, uh, thank you once again for joining us. Welcome you all. Great attendance. And first of all, I want to thank the Manipal Institute, uh, uh, great organizers, who are a very professional organization, and we're very fortunate to be partnered with them. And very quickly, now we embrace the technology, but we really need to come up to speed. We really commend you, Dr. Palaf, your team, and everybody to done such a hard work and the commitment you have shown towards this new technology. Uh, the, uh, many people think that uh, one of the reasons uh, myself and that men and what could tea is that they think that we're two Malayalis came together. <laughs> but uh, I'm not Malayali, but Tikuti, which is like my that. But the main reason we came together is uh, we're trying to make the difference in the community for the cancer research. Uh, something we want to bring innovative. Uh, to the community, especially in the U.S., prostate cancer for men and breast cancer is one of the leading deaths. So there we want to see how we can control and minimize that. It so happened when thinking about this came across Dr. Menon, which I never knew anything about him. Uh, the first time when I met, immediately I felt this man had the what he requires to do. And uh, sometimes we all wait on some horses. But he's a great one, a great success. And uh, with uh, conviction, and the most important is, he was a very successful urologist. He didn't have to take any chance. He was brave. He wanted to do something new and different. And he embraced the robotic technology. At that time, the robot was just coming into the market, uh, mainly for cardiology, it was not successful. But the uh, urology, the first one to perform the surgeries in urology, he mastered the technique. First one, he took 12 hours. Now he does it in half an hour. So, which really shows for the surgeons, my message here today is be brave and be bold. You will be very successful in implementing this technology. I think uh, I can't 
said more things about money and he has been a great friend and great uh, successful robotic surgeon in the world. Not only he has mastered it, he is able to pass this. He has great ability to care for the patient and not only providing the good surgery, but also the great care for them. And that's what made the difference for him in this. And uh, ability to teach the people and ability to make sure they come up to speed is great strength. So that's why this robotic surgery in urology has been so successful. Now it's expanding to gynecology and all the other specialties. I'm sure this will be the golden standard moving forward in the surgery industry. Foundation is doing everything, especially for right now in India. How can we make sure we bring this uh, technique to the common person? It's expensive technology today, but with the uh, subsidies initially, the foundation and others together to make sure we bring the volumes of these surgeries. Once we do these volumes, we feel very confident that we can bring the cost down. That's the reason this multi-specialty program is very important. The second thing is we have to make sure the surgeons coming to speed, not only basic training, but providing the hand-holding by conducting the workshops like what Dr. Lennon is doing to make sure they come up to speed. The other aspect we're working is working with the manufacturer to bring the robot cost down and also with the volumes we can manufacture those instruments in India. So what I'll refer to next three to five years, making sure this can be reached to the common person. We're very confident with the great surgeons we have in India. If you really look at the, the most successful robotic surgeons in the US today, the majority of them are Indians and speaks for Dr. Menon himself. And we have much more bigger ones a number of people such as this are very able, very successful. I'm sure this will grow like a million pounds and uh, becomes the household surgery program. So thank you for attending tonight. I don't take any more time to give us back to my own lecture. It's very valuable and you all will enjoy it. Please enjoy tonight again. Thank you.